Okay, this is Erin Lincoln back for the final version of the Baby Booty Detail Dies. Here is the button strap and here is the Mary Jane and basically these use the same dies. There's just one little difference between them. I'm going to show you how that works. Okay, there's a the little sweet, sweet little Mary Jane. And then there's the button strap and the only difference is the dies used to create those slits to thread through the strap. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Okay, this is the slot die that goes right on top of the baby booty topper for the booties. Got to make sure it's between those reinforcement stitches. So placement does matter just a little bit. You got to just be aware of that. Run it through. There you go. And just pop out those little slots, little slats. Okay, now I was really short on aqua mist felt. In fact, I have no more. And so I had already cut this little strap. And so instead of doing it on the video, I'm just showing it to you. It's that die and it cuts that shape. And it goes this way. Now, please be aware, because this is a strap that goes across and uh, you use a button, you want to have it stitched in near the instep. So you're going to look for that rectangular hole that indicates the instep of the shoe and kind of put it right there next to it and run it through. And this is just where you're going to attach the strap to your booty. And it's right next to that rectangular hole, which you'll see here in a second. Yep, that's because you want the buttons to be on the outside, not the inside. If you notice kids' shoes or adult shoes, they always strap towards the outside. Okay, unfortunately, I lost a little bit of video, so I'm going to just walk you through this. What you do is you stitch up the rectangles around the slats. Next, you take that loose strap and you're going to go all the way around the long side, around the curved edge, and then back with a running stitch, and then all the way back in the opposite direction, filling in the spaces, and you're going to left, be left with a double row of, I think it's five, four or five stitches, and that is where you stitch it into the booty. So at that point, you're going to stitch it into the booty using a running stitch, and it attaches to the booty that way, and then you weave it through the slats and use a button. I use button stackers here, which is a great option to stitch the strap down to the outside of the booty. And that is all you have to do. Trim the edges. So I hope just walking, talking you through it, you understand how it works. And then you go ahead and you follow the baby booty tutorial on how to assemble the booty further. Okay, this is just the button strap booty right here, and it's just without the slats for the Mary Jane. And this is for boys, and I think it's nice because I, it's very, very hard to find just basic, no frills shoes for babies. And at points when I had babies, I really needed to find this. So that's why I just made a plain brown button strap. And here's the Mary Jane with contrasting stitching and a cute little flower button accent. Okay, so now you've seen everything the baby booty detail dies can do with the baby booty, and I hope you're as excited as I am by this new die collection. All right, I'll see you in the forums. Thanks for watching.